today i am going to give some brief introduction regarding jsp action tags okay there are jsp is having 7 to 8 action tags which are very much important while developing the uh, code okay so uh, what we have to do we have to remember all these tags as part of this course and uh, we have to work on each and every tag like um, i will look i will first give the introduction about the each tag and then I will uh, provide one on example for each tag okay so that the concept will be clear for you people okay so this as this is very important as part of this uh, JSP tutorial so let's see what are the uh, what do you mean by okay let's see first what what is JSP action tags okay JSP action tag is used to perform some specific tasks okay so what do you mean by that okay whenever uh, while working with the JSP pages, so there may be a chance that some request or some response we have to forward while dealing with the response. So at that time, uh, whenever the user gives the request, uh, we have to process that request and uh, we have to include some uh, some response into into that and final response will send to the uh, client. Okay, so that we have seen. Uh, as part of servlet uh, servlet uh, while studying the servlet okay so there i have you have you might have remembered like request dispatcher where we have included uh, we have we have forward uh, method and include method and another another one is like respond dot send send redirect okay these are the elements you might have come across uh, while uh, studying that uh, jsp uh, sorry servlet okay but here the question here is like how we can of how we can make use of like how we can work similar kind of task by using the JSP action tag okay let's see the JSP action tags one after another okay so first first JSP action tag is JSP colon forward so whenever we are writing any JSP uh, the action tag so what we have to write uh, we have to write JSP then colon okay then the action tag name the forward from the forward keyword you, you might have like a uh, um, uh, might have um, understood that this uh, this is the forward this this will perform some forward action right that means forward the request and response to another resource whenever we are, we are working with the JSP page whenever there is a need that we need to send the we need to forward the request or response to the another resource it may be HTML JSP or text file some uh, some another resource then in that case we can use make use of JSP colon forward tag okay and the second action tag is JSP colon param. Param is the JSP action tag. Okay. So here what we will do? We will set the parameter value. For example, we are sending the request. Uh, uh, request. Okay. So what you can do? We, we, within the forward request, some parameter we can set. So that parameter we can set and uh, somewhere we will get that parameter. Okay. So that is the job of the param uh, action tag. Okay. And the next is JSP include seem like likely to forward. So include is something like JSP action tag, which would include to another resource. Whenever like uh, we are working with the form, uh, we have studied in the servlet. When working with the form, we are including some response uh, from the another servlet, and for finally we are uh, merging together and sending. So we are including. Okay, or any error pages is there uh, error occurs, then that time we are including some. Um, resource okay so, uh, some another resource uh, to the error page or something some so in that case we can make use the include tag okay and similarly use bin use bin set property and get property these three things that is for the that provides the uh, provides the like uh, flexibility to work with the bin java bin okay so java bin like uh, java class that property setter getters all this is called java bin plain java bin class so in order to work with the java bin so in jsp we can use up uh, jsp colon use bin okay and if we want some setting the property of the java uh, to the java bin then we can use jsp dot set property okay or to get the value we can use the get property so these kind of tags uh, like action tags we can use okay and uh, seventh one is the jsp plugin plugin also embed another component such as applet so to so uh, this plugin also we are going to see and finally the JSP fallback can be used to print the message if plugin is working it is used in the JSP plugin so whenever working with the JSP plugin will work in uh, will uh, work with the JSP fallback as well okay these are the eight tags we are going to see one after another what I'll do 
I will provide each and every tag with one with an example okay so that's that's all for this video we'll meet in the next class with the first action tag that is jsv forward forward action tag okay thank you